Hello from the St. Mary's Now, partnership between the Enterprise newspaper and the Four Center TV video production program. I'm Lucas Osenbaugh. And I'm James King. And here's the latest news from the Enterprise. On November 1st, Maryland's Emancipation Day, a ceremony was held in commemoration of Benjamin Hans, a 22-year-old African-American man who was lynched in 1887. Dozens of community members gathered on a patch of land across from the port of Leonardtown winery on Friday and filled jars with soil from the spot where, he, where Hans died as part of the soil collection ceremony, an event that's part of the national project hosted by the racial equality group Equal Justice Initiative to collect the dirt of the land where documented lynchings took place. St. Mary's Health and Parks Departments want everyone to hit the ground walking with a new Get Out and Walk Guide. A $25,000 grant from the Maryland Health Department allowed St. Mary's Recreation and Parks and the local health department to create the guide for walking in the county. It names what trails to tread, how to stay safe, resources to use, and local activities to attend. The 31-page guide tells the reader walking can help shed excess weight that could lead to diseases like heart disease, high blood pressure, and diabetes. It also gives the addresses and information of parks located in St. Mary's with the walking paths or hiking trails. St. Mary's College of Maryland professor Ben Click talked all things Twain at the county's Historical Society's annual fall dinner last Friday night following a call for new members. The local historical society, which formed in 1953, has approximately 360 members and works to preserve and promote the history of St. Mary's County. Peter Laporte, ex executive director of the Historical Society, said the center of what we do here is genealogy research. We look at the history of people who settled in St. Mary's County or came here and contributed. We have a massive database of records, marriage licenses, property deeds, and more. North Point's Devion Bryant, who was fifth the week before at the SMAC Championships, won the boys' race in 16 minutes and 25.7 seconds, while Dowdy didn't appear to be much the worse for wear as he finished in second, just four seconds behind his teammate. Bryant and Dowdy led a group of five Eagles to finish in the top 16 as North Point claimed its first regional championship. The Eagles finished with 45 points, 10 clear of runner-up Shopticon. On Friday night, the Raiders booked their place in the Final Four after a 5-0 win over Montgomery Blair on Friday night in the 4A State Quarterfinal. Leonardtown head coach Robert Hoare said, Prior to the match, I told my assistant coaches that we are due for an offensive explosion. Over each of the previous three games, we pinged the crossbar and posts way too many times. The team executed beautifully as we put five goals on the scoreboard. With the win, Leonardtown improved to an 18-0 on the season and were two victories away from capturing the state title. This news brief has been provided by the Enterprise. For more details, visit swmdnews.com. That's all we have for you on this edition of St. Mary's Now. I'm Lucas Osbaugh. And I'm James King. Signing, signing off. off.